السلام عليكم سيدي وعليكم السلام What is the reality of uh, Prophet Zulkarnain and Ajuj Majuj in the end days? Hmm? Prophet Zulkarnain and Ajuj Majuj in the end days. Again, the yeah, the internet External scholars, <clears throat> they understand hadith like footnotes and Qur'an like short stories. But each story and each footnote has an entire volume of books written into it and its timing, its events much deeper than what people understand. When it comes to eschatology and the, the understanding of the last days, they, they're mixing everything in as if it was like uh, minutes apart. This will happen, then this will happen, then this will happen. But you're talking about thousand years. The amount of time that in the time of Sayyidina Mahdi Salaam's arrival and once he rules the earth and the arrival of Sayyidina Isa, his days will be like a thousand, means like a thousand years Sayyidina Isa will have a life on earth and become like a paradise. The timing of each of these events is completely different. Yajuj and Majuj is way after that, after the prophetic and the paradise reality of Sayyidina Isa salam, will come a day of ignorance again and that one who brought complete ignorance upon the earth and disbelief upon the earth. Then to rid the people of this disbelief Allah will release the Juj and Majuj to eat everyone. And then the whole stories of how those are taken and, and uh, they all uh, Juj and Majuj Will, will die there. Some of them are big, some of them are tall, some of them are tiny, some have big ears, have small ears. There's a whole sort of group of characters that will fill the earth, eat and drink and be everywhere. But this is much later in this story because some of these external scholars are talking about this happening now and then saying that this is this group of people and this will open over here in this valley and this mountain they will open now. But this nothing related to these days. These are the days of Sayyidina Mahdi Salaam and the Dajjal and Antichrist, the one whom they call the Messiah and for one whom we've been told of a great deceit. And these are the events to be occupied with and the understanding of Juj and Majuj is from the race of people. If we want to just get a symbol of what is this? Juj and Majuj type of people is the Chinese people that eat and drink everything. It's a characteristic of Juj and Majuj, it's not the Juj and Majuj, it's not the Gog and Magog. It's just to symbolize because people can't understand, oh what are you talking about? A, a, a people Allah will create they will eat and drink everything and say, yes just watch your social media and you see they eat and drink everything and they think it's a delicacy. And they even fought in some of their wars, same style. When they fought in the Korean War they basically gave them a, a fork and said, you know eat and drink whatever you want, we're not giving you food supplies and rations and just you know go and… and they literally went across the countryside and they ate and drank everything. So this was for understanding that this characteristic exists and, but when Allah bring out the real ones then that's something much more horrific that will eat and drink and just decimate anywhere they move. And that's much after the kingdom of Sayyidina Isa being on earth, that when he makes earth like a paradise, inshaAllah. And they said they don't know how many years that would be but it would be a long time from the advent of uh, Juja Majuj and Gaga Magog inshaAllah. So one of the comments about somebody saying that, this famous person is saying this and this about uh, Qur'an and Magog and 
Gog and Magog and again external people no matter they sound like they're spiritual but external scholars want to use Qur'an and politicize the verses and represent different teachings based on uh, political groups and uh, nations that exist right now. And again it's more of a problem than a solution. And if a scholar is not teaching about the key to salvation in the last days and we said that key is Muhammadun Rasulullah Every other word is of rubbish and worthless. If you want to take uh, historic figures of uh, Gog and Magog which are creatures that will be coming and this is from Tafsir al-Jalalain Surat al-Kahf that Mawlana Shaykh taught and uh, taught everybody about that these are figures actual creatures, big, small, high, tiny and they eat and devour everything, no offence to Chinese people but for us to get a similar understanding of a people who can eat and devour everything that would be a similar understanding. But they're actual figures that are coming. Now to say it's no this race of people whom are devouring the earth with their money, don't go to Starbucks is not the, nothing related at all. So this is more of a problem than a solution because you ignite people in the wrong way. And the solution in these difficult times is to teach people about the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi which they don't talk about. And the love of Sayyidina Mahdi makes you to have a love for Ahlul Bayt and that's an important, important step and we've taught before that when you prepare uh, eschatology, when you prepare for the last days, this is our point from now to judgment day. This is a, a blessing in our lives because you can't prepare for judgment day, we don't know when it exists. So why Prophet gave to us that Armageddon and difficult days are coming and we have you know, thousands of pages on this subject. If we don't understand this key then just politicizing verses and igniting people and you become part of the problem not a part of the solution because then people start to run on the streets and protest. So when we understand that the study of the last days was to get people to be prepared that does your food home have supplies, do you have food, do you have rations, support, do you have money, gold, silver so that you live a life preparing for Armageddon because judgment day we don't know when is coming. And then Prophet gave us them signs of difficult days, most of which we begin to see until very immense signs and cataclysmic signs that will come very fast. You know the, the flooding of Cairo and the complete destruction of the Aswan Dam, uh, flooding of different regions and volcanoes and corruptions and eruptions. All of those begin to move very fast. So the looking of signs and preparing one's life for difficult times, that's what faith is. And then to understand the key is the love and I have to be good with Allah and the only way to be good with Allah is that if you're good and locked in with Sayyidina Muhammad with good character, good deeds, good actions. So politicizing people is not our way so don't even make the comments in our section, we're not interested in that man or any of his teachings. And the tariqah is strong, the tariqah's connection very strong. We don't need to go towards these dunya understandings and they're not uh, authorized not of any benefit and not of any understanding. So best to keep with the tariqah teachings and the tariqah understandings in the preparation for the last days and the love for Prophet inshaAllah preserve everybody, dress everybody and increase our love for Sayyidina Muhammad day by day and inspire us to do good for ourselves, our family and our communities and the collective community of our, our Naqshbandi Association and SMC specifically. The SMC group that is out there trying to do their best to represent the way of Mawlana Shah Naqshban. Not all Naqshbandiya is the same so they can do their own things and support their own things but our people is to 
wear your emblem and support our services and our products and our activities so that we can make ourselves look good in front of Mawlana Shah Naqshaban and that there, there's satisfaction to be dressed upon us and grant us more and more himma. If anyone wants to join and do what we do, welcome aboard inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.